uh, tribes of uh, fighters and uh, gatherers and farmers. Uh, uh, during history, they they were son. Uh, he was the the father of the first uh, uh, emperor of the Ottoman Empire, uh, Sultan uh, Uthman, Uthman the first. Uh, they started by invading uh, the Balkans, they entered uh, the Balkans and over there they started taking over cities and they finally took over uh, Constantinople by... Uh, okay, so uh, the Ottoman Empire, it's called the Eternal, uh, the Eternal State. Uh, they, uh, they, had, they held a, a very, very, very high... They were the protectors of the, the Muslims and uh, everyone else who was under their, uh, under their empire. Uh, by the Sufis, because they uh, each each sultan had his own sheikh and he followed his own. And uh, regarding the Golden Age, uh, it, uh, the Golden Age was uh, was uh, under the rule of uh, Suleiman the Magnificent or the Law Maker. Uh, his the, the the empire of the uh, he, he advanced, as I said, he advanced uh, calligraphy uh, during his time was were well taken care of, and all the letters that were sent. From, from the Ottoman Empire were, were done uh, were, were, done in a, were done in a well manner, uh, especially in uh, the Fulf and Naqsh. Uh, can you move on? And, uh, uh, and for the for the text, textile and the ceramics, uh, they uh, they, took, uh, they they did. The, I'll show you a small video of Sultan Ahmed and his sons and his people. Uh, <laughs> So to end with, you can see that Sultan Ahmed takes the key and he opens up the mosque and goes inside. Uh, just a, a note, Sultan Ahmed was a really religious guy. Uh, he broke the protocol of not killing his uh, brother as he ascended to the throne because he wanted he wanted to keep things uh, in peace and he never uh, uh, took, uh, took control over the army and he was a really peaceful guy. He tended to be artistic and uh, a poet. And so, so the features of this mosque uh uh, first was built uh, uh, during 1609, 1606, uh, 1616. Uh, the area of the mosque is for 4,745 meters squared. Uh, it has a, 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 a courtyard. Uh, uh, there is a central dome over the prayer hall, resting on delicate pendentives with 28 windows. It's 34 meters high. There are semi domes that have 14 windows with a stalactite structure crowned by a small ribbed dome on the tall, tall of eight. Uh, all domes are covered with the lead. It's 23.5 diameters uh, from the inside. Okay, and now for the minarets. Uh, Sultan Ahmed Mosque is one of the three mosques in Turkey that has six minarets. Um, when Sultan Ahmed first built the six minarets, people criticized him because he built something that is similar to, uh, uh, to uh, the mosque in Mecca. And then, uh, because of that, he sent someone to build a seventh minute in, in the mosque of Mecca. In, in Mecca. Uh, Medina. Has, no, Mecca. Medina. Okay. So there are four at the uh, there are four minarets at the corners, having three balconies with stalactite core beds. The other two are, are at the end of the four court. A trial of arch uh, with many switches and uh, has a little on the top. Section that is uh, that is painted with a geometric band. 
and uh, uh, it is called uh, the uh, uh, Sultan Ahmed Mosque is called the Blue Mosque, also because the upper section of the mosque and the dome is uh, it's all blue. Uh, 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 as you can see here, uh, we have the stained uh, glass windows, uh, the keel arch, and uh, about five centuries before the Blue Mosque, and uh, it was built in Istanbul as well. We see all similarities in the core Ottoman architecture styles, the many domes, the pencils, the uh, minerals.